guys today I'm at Target I'm going to go in Target and share with you guys some of my favorite baby items so here they have a wide variety of strollers and I like them in here because they actually have all on display rather than if you go to Walmart you could only find a few So guys, this is the system that I have. It's from Chico. The stroller and the car seat. Now with the car seat, you see this tab and that orange button. You press the orange button and you pull on the tab and you can adjust the seat like that. And this really has good padding because you want to make sure that that baby is comfortable and has enough padding on all sides so that in case of um, like any shakes or any like if you get in an accident you're sure the baby is properly secured properly protected and this was actually recommended to us from the hospital memorial west it was actually recommended that this is one of the best car seat system to keep your baby secure and protected and it works really well it snaps in it comes out it doesn't give any trouble um i this is my go-to car seat and i will always recommend this and for mothers who have smaller babies, really tiny babies or premature babies, make sure you get a car seat that has enough padding because that baby is going to be so tiny, you're going to need extra padding to hold that baby's head into place. Now there are a lot of systems um, they have for moms on the go like the joggers. So it depends on your lifestyle, you're going to buy a stroller. Now, I was telling you guys about the three-in-one. I'm going to see if they have that here. If not, I have it in my car, so I'll show you guys. Um, that's one if you don't need a stroller and you're going to be holding the baby when you're out and you don't need a car seat to go in and out of the car, then I suggest you get the Graco Forever. That one works with a newborn and transitions all the way until they're, they're old enough to sit with a seat belt alone. Here we have some more car seats. So you guys see, you can come to Target and you can see everything. Not like in some stores you go and you can't see anything. Look at this key fit 30 and this one is the key fit 30 zip. You see how it has the cushioning for the baby. It's, it's like so super, super thick. That's what you want because you want that extra protection for your baby. So guys, let me see if I can show you this holding and trying to do this. So I'm going to press the knob at the front. And when you press the knob at the front, you can actually pull on the straps. Right? So here I have the strap. And then to tighten those straps, you just pull on the tab and it tightens the strap. The best feature with this Chico. Some other brands have it. The Britax has it. This is another Chico. Here we have a Greco. Let's see. This Greco has it. Oh, this one has really nice padding. This looks like a really good one. This one is the Snug Ride Snug Lock 35. So this Greco is a really good one. This one is 159. The Chico that I'm telling you guys about is 229. So it's your budget. And um, or with the Chico, you just have to press here on both sides to detach. It comes with a level to tell you that the base and the car seat is level because you always want to make sure that it's level. So here we have the Greco Forever, the same one I was telling you guys about. You would use, use it as a, a newborn would be in it. Um, it comes with the attachments for the newborn, which are these features. Um, of course, this is not going to be so high up. This is going to be lower down like this one. And as the baby grows up, as you see, it's four pounds to 100 pounds. When you buy your car seat, it has to be able to fit a baby a minimum four pounds, sorry. Because at the hospital here in the US, they will do a car seat test to make sure that that car seat is perfect for the baby. If it's not, you're going to have to get another car seat. And I'm telling you guys this from experience. You want to buy the proper car seat when you're buying. Um, this one faces 
rear facing not forward facing when the baby reaches um, when the baby can sit upright um, my son switched it when he was two years old I kept him rear facing up to two after he was two I turned it around and I did the forward facing so this is really good for you if you do need a stroller and you do need a car seat to go in and out of the car get this this goes all the way up to 100 pounds and it transitions so you have the baby and you see how the baby is protected then there'll be a toddler and as they're growing up it's going to extend the headrest so it can protect their head and then the base alone is going to be their booster seat so that's the forever this is the forever extend to fit means that it just has this extra panel just that comes out for their feet trust me their feet after a while it's going to hang off of this so you don't need this extend to fit piece that's just in my opinion now I didn't tell you guys but this is where the cup holder goes in this space um, the cup holders are not here at the moment but when you purchase it you do get the cup holders they come out so you can be able to wash them and keep them nice and clean and also guys go for something that's black rather than something that's light colored because the light colors tend to get dirty really quickly so I'm not gonna show you guys all of the car seats I just showed you guys the ones that I like so it's up to you to pick something that works for you for your baby and also for the car here we have these foldable and we call them umbrella strollers they fold up really small and when you're traveling through the airport once your baby can sit upright I suggest getting one of this it's so much easier to travel with um, it comes with a sunshade and it's, I really I actually recommend it because that's what I use to my baby when we travel or if we're going out and about I don't I never took him out of the car seat once he was able to sit upright that's what I used okay so first time parents I'm gonna give you a suggestion when you're buying you don't have to buy a crib unless the baby's gonna sleep in the crib what I did was I got him a pack and play and I bought a bed for him and as soon as he was able to walk and handle himself and he turned a toddler, he was already in his room in his own bed. So you don't want to have the baby sleeping with you and then it's going to be hard to get the baby to start to sleep in his or her own room once he reaches that age. Now they have these here that you can see you can put the baby in to give them a nap but these would cost more because they have all of these other features and I I'm telling you you don't need this the baby's gonna outgrow this so fast it's just gonna be a waste of time what I suggest is getting one with all these features but it must have this piece that stays up top so the baby can be up top here so I'm gonna look for one to show you guys so guys they don't have any without this but trust me it does come without it this is just for you to change the baby on you don't need this um, you see this part here it's actually halfway some of them come all the way up but this one is actually at a good height so your newborn would stay here until he or she starts to turn and tries to pull to get up um, this is all you would need this this section goes on the outside of the playpen so you can pack like wipes and pampers and creams and stuff but this is all that you need a basic playpen but it must have this this section that comes up once your baby turns that toddler and starts walking and standing up this this would drop all the way to the bottom and then you'll have a playpen and something that you can leave them in all day so remember my suggestion is get a pack and play in this way you can fold it and take it anywhere you go if you're going to have a sleepover anywhere you're going you can fold this it folds up pretty small you can take it with you as I said make sure and get this up of this piece that comes up when the baby is a baby and it drops for when the baby is a toddler and it's cushioned so you don't have to worry about that it's not going to be soft enough for the baby plus you can buy your crib sheets and put the crib sheets over this piece because this piece comes off once your baby starts to sit upright you're going to get him or her a high chair and this is going to teach them to sit at the table together with you to have breakfast lunch and dinner now there are different types there are some you can buy like these and it would actually sit on your 
dining chair or you can buy the high chairs and it transitions all the way until they're old enough to sit on the table by themselves. Here we have the walkers. Um, some are stationary, some are not. I personally did not buy one for my son. He actually learned to hold and walk on his own. Um, it's said that when they use a walker, they tend to walk more on their toes than they walk properly. So hence the reason why I never got him a walker. So he learned to walk flat on his feet because when you put them in the bouncers or you put them in the walkers, they tend to more walk more on their toes rather than flat on their feet. So I told you guys about the babies in a bouncer or in a walker. They tend to tippy toe, right? Perfect example. This is not good for them. This is why using a walker or a bouncer is not recommended because you don't want them to learn to walk on their toes. So guys, this is the item. This is a swing and this was my lifesaver. Like when I had to do stuff and record and stuff, I put the baby in there, strap him in. It rocks, it plays music and it's actually detachable. So this piece you can remove and you can take it anywhere in the house with you. And the bigger piece, the bigger stand stays one place. It also vibrates so they'll get that feeling like, you know, someone is there with them, rocking them, pushing them. It's really, really good and I highly recommend it. So you see, this was a lifesaver. Like I would take this and take it like if I'm going over to my in-laws or someone's home, I would take it with me because it's a portable bouncer. I would take it with me so that he was comfortable and he was so comfortable in there that I didn't have a problem with him or he didn't give me any trouble. Look how it works. It's the perfect, the perfect, gadget for you to have for your baby now these come in different styles different sizes like there's this one also but personally I got this one this is the Greco so you can pick whichever one suits you and as you can see this base is smaller this base is larger so you'll need to pick something depending on the foot area that you have to put put it in your home now they have bassinets that you can keep on the side of your bed. You can have the baby in the bassinet and keep the baby on the side of your bed. And as I say, I'm not going to recommend this, but there are a lot of parents that swear by a bassinet. I would just put the same pack and play next to the bed. And um, one thing I did was I bought two pack and plays. So I had one upstairs, one downstairs, so that I didn't have to carry it up and down. So. You guys can probably think about doing that and the pack and plays are really cheap if you wanted to buy it from Walmart or Target. They're really cheap. You can get like two pack and plays for under $100. This bassinet also glides and it vibrates and it goes side to side. So here we have the cribs and I would say again, I recommend that you guys just buy a bed for the baby and use the pack and play until he or she is old enough to go into his own room. Buying a crib does not make sense in my book. This is what the crib looks like when it's built. You see how high up the bed is? Now it's a really big area but it works just like a playpen or the playpen works just like this and when the baby is older you need to drop this section down to the bottom. But again, they are going to outgrow this. The pack and play, you can reuse it and you can gift it to someone else. Okay, a rocker or a glider is going to be your lifesaver when you have to, to breastfeed or feed that baby. Or even if your hubby is helping you with the baby, you need a comforter, rocker or glider. And this is a really good one. The ones that you can get for the $99, I'm telling you, I bought two of those and they broke really easily. So make sure when you're buying a rock or a glider, you get something comfy and something that would last a long time. So this one here, they don't have the price on it, but it's called a laundry nursery glider swivel rocker, rocker chair. And it comes in different colors. Ooh, you see, look, here's the price. <laughs> it's a really good one, but it's also going to last you a lifetime because it's a proper chair. Also, guys, when you are getting something for the baby to store the baby's clothes, just go ahead one time and get a proper drawer or a proper chest of drawers for the baby because 
they're going to need it so it doesn't make sense you buy something cheap or just something really small and then you'll have to get something bigger later on just spend the money get something proper one time okay once you have your baby you don't need the baby to be a toddler to get one of these it's a it's a play yard and it keeps them in that area without them running amok in your house and pulling down everything so I have one of this I showed you guys it already I definitely recommend that you all get one of this this item you definitely need to get it keeps your baby occupied they have things to do they have activities it has a little mirror so he can see himself he can get in touch with his senses to build his his um, motor skills which is very important so they have different colors and I actually recommend that you get something black and white because it's said that black and white really stimulates stimulate their eyes and helps them to see and differentiate faster so you can pick whichever suits you okay so this item is a item that you would put on the bar of the car seat it would go on that bar that you would usually hold it goes across so when the baby's in the car the baby would have something to play with so it's a musical travel bar they would play they would pull on it it makes noise um, there are different types and different ones all work differently so you see the baby would press and touch and play with all of these things while he or she's in the car and it keeps them occupied so if you're driving and no one's in the back seat with the baby because the baby's gonna be rear facing for quite a while probably more than one year um, because that's the safest way to have your baby so you'll need to have something to keep them occupied and this is so perfect that it goes right there on the handlebar so now I've come to the infamous baby mirrors that you would put in the car so that you can see the baby now I have to tell you that I've tried a couple of these and they did not work they don't ever stay in place unless you have a car unless your car in the back has um, a headrest that you can actually attach these on but my car the middle doesn't have a headrest and the other thing is I don't I did not ever put my baby on the end in the car I always had him in the middle because the middle is the safest place to put the baby for moms who are nursing you can get these scarves it's a nursing scarf that you'll throw over yourself and you can wear it around your neck and all you have to do is pull it down when it's time to breastfeed if you're out in public or if you're in front of people make sure you want to cover up so this is one of the the nice stylish things you can use and it doubles as a scarf they also have additional head pieces that you can use to help cushion that baby's head and to protect the baby if the car seat you buy doesn't have that extra cushioning because a newborn would need it you can use this or you can simply fold their blanket into the shape of this so roll it up in a log fold it into the shape and then you'll you'll fit it into the into the space where their head is just like this so you don't have to buy this you can use a blanket here we have the baby carrier now I personally I bought two of these and honestly I did not need it so if you're a mom that's always on the go and you're always going to go shopping or you're always going to go somewhere then you'd need this but if you are leaving the baby home with your spouse or his, his or her grandparents trust me you don't need this you don't want to spend unnecessary money but if you need it you can go ahead and get it these are the diaper pails. I have never gotten one. I always had a small bin, a very small um, bathroom trash can. And at the end of the day, I would dispose of the diaper rather than leaving it a couple of days in these big pails. And you have to buy the, the you have to buy the bags for the pails. When you think about that, that's that's a lot of money you're going to waste. So just get a small trash can and you could just get those small um those small garbage bags and use that because at the end of the day you're still going to discard it. 
if you look where it's cold you'll need to get one of these warmers that's going to keep the, the wipes moist and it also keeps the wipes nice and warm so that when it's cold it's that cold wipes doesn't affect the baby or irritate the baby now here we have the swaddles and I don't like any of these I'll show you the swaddle that I like I like the ones that their hand is outside because you don't put mittens for a baby that baby needs to feel their features so you don't ever cover up that baby's hand these are some really nice muslin clothes that you can buy to wrap the baby in to bring the baby home the security items you will need a camera with a monitor and with these also you could always um, connect it to your phone so that you can have one at home and you can have one at work um, I got the Motorola brand which was really good it had a really good signal that would be like this one up here and what it does it rotates you can control it from your phone you can control it from home so when the baby was home with me my husband would check in on us if I was asleep he would check in on the baby um, so you want to get something that you can use on your phone if you're not at home so just look at those and as I said I recommend the Motorola it's a little bit expensive it's a hundred dollars but this is one of the best ones then they have one with the dual cameras so you can have one in one room one in another room so I highly recommend getting one of this if the baby's in the bedroom and you need to go to the kitchen and you it's, they're out of your eyesight you'll need to have it plus it has a speaker in the monitor so that you can hear if the baby wakes up okay now for the bottles and there are a wide range of bottles for you to choose from as you guys can see now I went with the Dr. Bronze and I went with this one. Now I'm telling you honestly, I don't think that it, it reduces colic because my baby had so much colic, it did not help. So the thing about the Dr. Bronze is it has five parts for you to wash. There's this part, there's the nipple, there's that straw inside and there's this bottle and then there's the cover. You have to wash all those parts so this is just my advice to you all if you think that it's going to be too much for you to wash because trust me if you have four dirty bottles and you're not able to wash the bottle as soon as they're done with it and you end up with four dirty bottles you'll, well, then you have 20, 20 parts you'll need to wash right so if you wanted to you can go for something simpler like this that doesn't have the straw and it's just basic and it's just simple so that is just one of my tips now that vent they have glass bottles and they have plastic bottles I preferred using the glass bottles for my baby because the Dr. Bronx they do have glass bottles also another tip is don't buy small bottles for the baby the baby is going to go you drink more milk faster and the small bottles it's gonna be a waste of time because you're gonna to have to transition to the big bottles so just buy the big bottles you'll start off with a little bit of milk and eventually they'll just be drinking the entire bottle buying the small bottle only lasts you up to like around probably four to six months and then you have to still go back and buy bigger bottles so just buy the big bottles do not buy any small bottles so you guys know how you have a Keurig or a co coffee machine now they have the baby machine that makes your baby's bottle I personally will not buy it okay so guys one of the important things that I got and I got it as a gift is a magic bullet this makes your baby's food it purees it it does everything and even if the baby outgrows it you can use it if you had to to make stuff for yourself you need to get one of this unless you have a magic bullet or something that it's, that you're not mixing um, anything that has pepper or chilies you don't want to use that make sure it's a nice clean um, blender so you can puree the baby food now the baby isn't going to be eating pureed pureed food for a long time you're going to need to put some texture in that food for the baby when they start getting teeth so they can learn to bite here we have a baby bottle warmer so this is for you guys who are doing breast milk and you're freezing the breast milk you'll toy it out but the milk is still going to be cold so you'll make the bottle with the milk and just put it into the warmer allow that bottle to warm through and then you can feed the baby 
this was a lifesaver for me because I did the breastfeeding, the pumping method, so I always had to heat up his milk. So for those parents on the go or who work and you're not a stay-at-home mom and you want to breastfeed, we have the breast pump. I prefer the electric version. You can pump the milk, freeze it and your babysitter or your hobby or your parents or in-laws, whoever is helping you with the baby can defrost that milk and make the baby's bottle so you show your baby getting the nutrition he or she needs. Okay, so you'll need a bathtub for the baby. I actually like this one because they can transition in it from a newborn to a toddler and then it can fold and you can put it away but when you have a big tub you can't fold the tub and put it away so if you have to get something I suggest getting something like this make sure you get some toys also for the baby to keep to keep them occupied while they're in their tub or while they're having their bath this one is really cool. You can put it into your bathtub or into a sink, but I still prefer this one. Here we have the remedies section. We have the gripe water, we have the gas relief drops. Now remember, I showed you guys this. You need this and you need this. Trust me, whichever brand you get, but you do need it. And when your baby starts to teat, I suggest getting them these um, silicone teething or toothbrush this is, it's a toothbrush but you can they hold it and they'll bite on it and it'll help clean their teeth trust me when your baby starts to teeth that's a whole other story because it's like my baby didn't get any pain until his big molars were coming out so the smaller teeth didn't give him a lot of trouble but I used the bonjella you don't want to pick up a pack of boogie wipes this is made with saline so it helps keep, keep their nose nice and clean and then you have your other like diaper rash cream, the baby cream, shampoo, conditioner. Make sure you keep Tylenol on hand, baby oil, Q-tips. These Q-tips are especially made for babies. You see that the tip of it is shaped differently. So when you're buying, you want to buy baby stuff. Here we have, now here we have baby detergent. I used this this one for him when he came home and after he was like when he was one year old I started washing his clothes with normal detergent because you want them to get accustomed to the normal detergent and I'm telling you if I were to do it all over again I would just go with normal detergent from the beginning and not buy any baby detergent it really it doesn't make a difference they would still be fine unless you know they have an allergy or something then you can go with something else Okay guys, so the last item you'll need are some wipes and some pampers. Um, there are the baby dry pampers, which keeps them drier longer. Um, my opinion is I just buy the regular ones. I don't think, I prefer the regular ones. I think they work better than the baby dry. So whichever brand you decide to go with, you're going to get your pampers and you're going to get your wipes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of some of my favorite baby things and additional items that I touched on with my tips so if you can guys enjoy this video please remember to give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends leave me your comments down below leave any tips that you may have for new parents and I'll see you guys in my next video bye